Well, I mentioned in last week's video, I was going to take you on a field trip and we are heading up to Simon Pierce. And then I believe I'm going to stay overnight in Woodstock. I'm just going to make an impromptu stop in at the Woodstock Inn, see if they have a room. And if they do, I might stay overnight. I have the nice little luxury that Ben is home tomorrow working and he will take care of Willow and I can enjoy a night because this is a work trip and I'm going to explain a little bit more of why this is a work trip and not just a travel around some beautiful parts of Vermont. So let's go take this drive and I will show you more in a moment. Now I've been looking forward to sharing the news regarding Simon Pierce. This company has been a large part of my company. When I first started the website, they invited me to store events and I got to cover it, write about it, photograph it. It was a lot of fun. When Ben and I first got engaged, we went to Twin Farms in Vermont and we got to sip champagne and wine out of the Simon Pierce glassware that they had there. And then in 2015, they were also in our first magazine and they have this wonderful summer salad that they created and it was just a really nice partnership working with them. Well, I am so pleased to announce that we are now taking it to the next level. I will be carrying Simon Pierce and I am so pleased that they are now part of our New England brand offerings. So in the future, 
you will be able to see Simon Pierce at our location and I'm going to give the address out once we are all established but also I'm going to include it in some of our gift boxes and I'm hoping that the Christmas gift box will have our first offering of Simon Pierce products and also I'm putting together a luxury gift box so let's go take a tour of Simon Pierce while I pre-select some items to share with kindred spirits. Now, if you wanna dine at Simon Pierce, call to make reservations. I forgot to call, I was craving their quiche, so I hovered until they almost closed and I finally got a seat due to a no-show. With room key in hand, I'm ready to relax. I did go back downstairs later that evening for dinner, but I was in the inn for the rest of the night. not one to give up or call the front desk, I was going to figure this out. Hmm. Uh -huh. I'm also not one for lounging around, so I decided to get dressed and head outside for an early morning walk. It's very cold, gloomy, but my body and my eyes don't care. I love taking this all in. This home always catches my eye. You don't see many flat roofed homes here in New England due to the snow load. And I've always wondered, did it used to have a second floor? If you're from the area, please let me know if you know.
I did end up walking around long enough that the shops started to slowly open, but I had to head back once the bags got a little too heavy to carry comfortably. I put my purchased fine living finds into the car, then headed inside for a cup of hot coffee by the fire. Then I was off to the spa to hopefully make a purchase, something I saw in the Woodstock Inn magazine. I've been wanting to try something from Tata Hopper's line for many years. I didn't know it was down at the spa, and I wanted to try this regenerating cleanser that has a little bit of an exfoliator to it. I'm so glad that I got it, and I can't wait to try other products. After a hot breakfast, I decided to head home, but once I pulled out of the parking lot, I saw a piece of paper flapping under my windshield wiper. It put a smile on my face during the ride home, and it solidified one of the reasons I love sharing with all of you so much. We truly are kindred spirits, and I am so grateful that you watch and enjoy this channel. I appreciate you, and I'm grateful. Until next time, friends. Bye now.